Experian says I'm dead. Hi, this is consumer protection attorney Bill Clanton. I've helped hundreds of consumers, that's regular folks like me and you, deal with inaccurate credit reporting, debt collection harassment, and other consumer-related matters. If Experian says you're dead and you're watching this, then that's a lie. How does this happen? Mixed files, identity theft. What's a mixed file? A mixed file is when Experian confuses your file with somebody else's. This happens when people have similar names, addresses. Sometimes fathers and sons get mixed up. Sometimes mothers and daughters get mixed up. Sometimes it's complete strangers, but somebody else's information reports on your report and your information may report on somebody else's report. Identity theft. Identity thieves will take out credit in your name. They'll get employment in your name and sometimes they'll die. Their death could report on your credit report. Again, if you're watching this, you're not dead. If your Experian credit report says you are dead, then it's wrong. And inaccuracy on a credit report is a big deal. It can cost you credit. You can't take out a credit card if you're dead. You can't buy a car if Experian says you're dead. You can't buy a house if Experian says you were dead. Being reported as deceased causes your credit score to drop to zero. If you are being reported as deceased by Experian, you need to dispute that. Send them a letter. Include your driver's license, your social security card, a recent utility bill, things that show you are alive. Now, if they fail to correct it, you have got a case against Experian. You can recover damages. Experian, the law says, the Fair Credit Reporting Act says Experian has to report with the maximum possible accuracy information about you. If you see on your credit report that Experian is reporting you as deceased, that is false. It's not the maximum possible accuracy and you can take action against Experian because of that false reporting. When you're ready to take action against Experian, give us a call. There's no fee to bring this type of case. If we're successful, Experian will have to pay my attorney's fees. When you're ready to turn the tables on Experian for saying you're deceased or any other false credit reporting, give us a call. Thank you for watching this video and please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.